Airsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors. Why, hello, GI TV. Bob the Axe Man Hildebrand here for another GI Weekly Update. Well, we've got a lot of things to discuss, but the first of which is the fact that we have just redesigned our mobile website. So in case you want to get some last minute shopping done, want to check out what we have available on our website, or just want to look at new products on your phone or mobile device, that is now a much more user-friendly option. So make sure to check out our mobile website on your phone or mobile device. It's just a really fun experience, and if you got some time to kill, or again, some last minute shopping, take a gander at it, it's pretty darn useful. All right, I'm sure a lot of you are aware that Thanksgiving just passed. If you're not aware of that, where have you been? Um, all right, so we also had Black Friday as well as Cyber Monday. We had a lot of great deals at our Airsoft GI walk-in stores on the West Coast as well as our East Coast walk-in store and our online website. But we still have some more deals currently ongoing. Now we have our exclusive black card program going on. We're releasing 25 different Airsoft GI custom guns that have an Airsoft GI exclusive black card pre-included into that setup. Now, this is a really good program. You're going to be able to use this exclusive black card with the gun you purchase to get 12 different uses of our 20% off discount code in addition to free shipping. That's going to save you a lot of money and you're also going to get one free tech service with that black card and you're going to be, use, be able to use that program from one, from one year of the date of the purchase of that gun and black card up until the end of that year. So it's a really good way to save money as long as you plan ahead and make use of that exclusive black card program. Also, just make sure to check out all the all the custom guns that go with our black card program because our tech department has been working overtime and extra hard to make sure these are amazing amazing guns i'm really impressed i wish wish i could buy a lot of them but i can't if you want to find them just go to the search engine on our airsoftgi.com site type in black card and all of them are gonna show up they're really cool all right, in other news, we are now shipping green gas. We're actually shipping it by the case. There are 12 bottles in each case, and you can order cases of green gas in multiples of one case all the way up to five cases. Now, this is a great way to save money if you plan ahead. You know, if you're an individual player with like just one gas sidearm, you know, this might not be the best deal for you, but if you are gonna buy gas for the whole year, it's a great deal. Or if you're part of an airsoft team that all uses gas guns or gas sidearms, this is a great way to save money by planning ahead. So if you're on the market for green Green gas, make sure to check out our cases of green gas because it's gonna save you money in the long run if you plan ahead. Okay, and now on to airsoft industry news. Now, the first and most important thing I want to tell you guys about, or I guess the thing that stands out in my head, is the fact that BL Tech just came out with another video of their new sound amplification uh, product in action. Now, we actually previewed this or promoted it, I guess, on the GI TV live show, as well as one of the previous GI Weekly updates, and we got a lot of responses, as did BL Tech. Now, this is a really cool video. They were telling us that they were gonna take out their product to take into a CQB environment to see how that affected other players, as well as the gameplay. I highly suggest checking out this video. It's a really cool new product that we hope makes it out to the United States of America. Um, it's, I don't know, it just, it seems like it could change the game of Airsoft, and here's a video showing you how. And next up, we've got some new stuff coming out of Tokyo Marui. They recently just came out with a Tokyo Marui M870 shotgun, of which I'm a huge fan of and current owner, by the way. But they are now coming out with, with their Tokyo Marui 416 Dev Grew AEG. Now, uh, obviously, 416 is already on the market, but I'm really a fan of the fact that Tokyo Marui is coming out with their own because the more options there are on the market for us airsofters, well, the better it is for everybody. So thanks, Tokyo Marui. Keep coming out with new stuff, and thanks for making the 870 shotgun. All right, in real firearm news, there's actually a new gun that came out on the market a little while ago. This is actually uh, the current in, uh, current incarnation of the SCAR P. Uh, basically a PDW version of the SCAR weapon series. Uh, pretty cool looking gun. Uh, the original, I guess, prototype had a much bigger buttstock to accommodate for the recoil. But, you know, a really cool gun. I'm kind of hoping that they come out with an airsoft version, because I would personally like to tote one of these around if I was doing vehicle-borne combat. Uh, but make sure to check this out and see if, well, hopefully some manufacturers will come out with the airsoft version, but I thought you, our viewers, might want to know about the real firearm version because 
looks pretty cool. Now, as I'm sure some of you may know, the nominations for the Player's Choice Awards for the airsoft industry are fast approaching. In fact, I think they're currently ongoing. Uh, I believe the nomination process or the voting process goes from December 2nd through to December 30th, and we have been honored in the past to have won the best North American retailer, not once, but twice. And we've also won a handy dandy, really cool looking plate for best video of the year. So we're really honored to have been chosen before, and we really like to see our fans head out there and vote for us in the nominations for this year's Player's Choice Awards. So make Make sure to head out to that website, we're putting a link below in the description for your perusal. Alright, last but certainly not least, we've got an actual request from Ross C, one of our predators, for some more footage and video for our Top 5 series. Now, we haven't done a Top 5 video in a little bit, but we've been getting more and more emails and calls from customer service folks that want more Top 5 footage up. Now, if you guys want to get your footage and or photos onto our Top 5 videos, make sure to send that footage and photos to Ross C at AirsoftGI.com. Again, that is Ross C at airsoftgi.com. We love to do more of these videos and honestly, some of the footage we get just makes our week. We, I can't even count the number of times I've laughed at some of the cool action footage we've got, especially one where some guy's just chasing a guy around with a knife and the kid just, but anyway, there's a lot of different footage we've seen and we'd love to see more of it because again, it's some of the best parts of our job. So thank you for sending in the footage we've already gotten and keep sending in more. And once again, send that to Ross C at airsoftgi.com. Well, I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand. This has been another GI Weekly Update, and this, well, this is GI TV. Airsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors.